The July 23rd, 2024 explosion in Biscuit Basin stole all the headlines. But did you know there was another explosion, smaller but still pretty significant, that occurred right here in Norris Geyser Basin earlier in 2024? We're looking at the crater just through the steam from that explosion. It occurred on April 15th of 2024 at 2.56 in the afternoon. Now this area called Porcelain Terrace of Norris Geyser Basin had been known for lots of water that flowed down into Porcelain Basin. But about 2021, the water started flowing into this small lake off to the side here called New Far Lake. You can see the path it took. It left this white ground and caused all the trees here to die caused the lake level to rise quite a bit. And in fact, the lake turned from a murky green to this brilliant milky blue color. And that lasted until April 15th. And when that explosion happened, it was detected by a monitoring station that was installed just back in September, it included some microphones. So we heard the explosion. Once that explosion happened, it created a crater that was about 10 feet across and a lot of disrupted ground. All of the water activity up there stopped. Lots of steam activity, but water stopped flowing into New Far Lake. The lake turned from blue back into that green color and the level went back down. And now there's a ring of dead trees around the rim of the lake from that high stand of the high silica water. So impressive explosion here at Norris. Another example of hydrothermal explosion hazards, the most common kind of hazard in Yellowstone in terms of geologic hazards, maybe not quite as underappreciated as they used to be. That's the report from Norris. Now let's talk about geyser, seismic, and deformation activity that occurred over the past month. The Yellowstone region continued to be quiet during the month of November. The University of Utah seismograph stations located just 88 earthquakes during the month. The largest was a magnitude 2.4 in the south part of Yellowstone National Park on November 7th. Seismicity was mostly spread throughout the region with that typical cluster of events that occurred between Hebgen Lake and the north central part of Yellowstone National Park, including a small swarm that was located just to the northeast of West Yellowstone, Montana. There hasn't been a real significant change in ground deformation patterns either. This is vertical deformation at a GPS station near Lake. The blue dots are one day of data each. The entire plot spans two years. Downward trends indicate subsidence and upward trends indicate uplift. The overall sense of deformation has been subsidence of the caldera since 2015, and it's interrupted in the summer months by these pauses or little bits of uplift due to groundwater conditions. We turned back to subsidence after the summer 2024 uplift in late September, early October, but you can see it looks kind of messy here in the late part of November, and that's due to winter storms and snowfall affecting the GPS signal. So subsidence of the caldera is continuing, even though it's hard to see in the latter part of November. Finally, looking at the tallest geyser in the world, Steamboat Geyser, we had an eruption, the sixth of the year, and that was on November 23rd. This is the temperature in the outflow channel of the geyser. We started out the month being very quiet, sort of background temperature, freezing temperatures, and then we started to see minor geyser activity. That's what all of this up and down is, and it culminated on November 23rd with that eruption right there, and then back down to the geyser being quiet. No real warm water coming out of it, which is back down to freezing temperatures being measured at the thermistor. So Steamboat, six eruptions so far in 2024. Maybe we'll have another one before the end of the year. Well, that's the monthly report from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. If you enjoyed this, please hit like and subscribe down below. And if you have any questions at all, leave us a comment or drop us an email. Our address is ywobteam, all one word, at usgs.gov. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you next month. Bye-bye.